Breaking news, guys. Nnamdi Kano, the IPOP leader, to be released without trial. Hmm. See latest update. Interesting. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Has the impending trial of IPOP leader Nnamdi Kano on terrorism charges commenced on Monday, 26th February 2024. Organizing Digo vehemently advocate for the immediate, immediate dismissal of these charges, mirroring the condemnation action taken by the federal government in dropping the treasonable felony charge against a Yoruba activist, Omor Omoyele, Omoyele Showari. President Bola Tinubu's commitment to Nigerians' healing process must encompass fairness and impartiality. The Afis Igbo Social Cultural Organization commends the decision to avoid the charges against Shoari, emphasizing the necessity for equitable treatment under the law. It is imperative that justice is dispensed uniformly, without prejudice or favorism. Organizing Digbo employs President Tinubu to instead this the same precedent to Nnamdi Kano without holistation uh, or delay. Nigerian most notably the Nigerians most notably the Ndigbo community favorably urge President Tinubu to direct the Attorney General of the Federation, Latif San, to stop Nandikano's trial and withdraw all associated charges invoking sessions 174, one in bracket, C in bracket as well, of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and session 107 one in bracket of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015, scheme to the action taken in the Shoare case. Consistency and equity before the law are fundamental principles of a just society. Organizing Dibu ascertained that the liberation of Nnamdi Kano is imperative for national reconciliation and stability by allowing the legal treatment with the highest standard of fairness. President Tinubu can significantly promote unity and harmony in the nation. The importance of this decision transcends more legalities. It underscores commitment to ratifying historical injustice and fostering a climate of inclusivity. Mazi Okechiko Isaguzoro, the Secretary General of Organizing Devo, affirms that undisclosed diplomatic channels are being utilized to advocate for Kano's freedom. Recognizing the political uh, play, it is incumbent upon President Tinubu to heal this impassioned appeal as dropping the charges against Kano. Significant signifies a crucial step towards healing the wounds of the past and ushering a new era of justice and reconciliation. So organizing the will stand resolute in its call for fairness and equity in the legal system, emphasizing that the liberation of Nnamdi Kano represents a pivotal moment a Nigerian's quest for genuine unity and progress. Nigerians, we've all heard it now. A chieftain of organizing Digbo has urged President Bola Tinobu to drop the treason and um, terrorism charges against Nam the Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Isaku Zoro. Uh, the Tunubu dropped. He said Tunubu should drop the terrorism and treason charges against Kano in line with the treatment of activists Omoyele Showare 
and demonstrate integrity and justice. Bola Metunubu led federal government had reviewed his intention to discontinue the trial of politician and uh, media owner Omoyel Shawari and his co-defendant Ola Wale Bakari, also known as Mandate. So the federal government decision was communicated to the federal high court in Abuja via a notice of this con content continence dated February 14. The notice was filed on February 15 by the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, and the Minister of Justice, Latif. Isiaguzor emphasized that the release of Khan goes beyond legalities and highlighting it has a moral reckoning and a crucial step towards addressing past injustice. He believed that dismissing charges against Kano will not only provide closure but also facilitate reconciliation and peace in the Southeast. Viewing Kano's freedom as a significant movement in Nigeria's quest for justice and unity. He further stated that President Tunubu's stance on the issue will reflect a dedication to the rule of law and the promotion of inclusivity and harmony among Nigerians. So guys, what's your take on this? Do you think the federal government of Nigeria, led by President Bola Metinubu, with their stance and everything, will ever let Mazi Inamdi Kanu go, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra? So guys, let's hear from you. Thank you.